We have more information. It's an update. A cop uh, literally tried to turn off his body camera before brutally attacking a child. Okay, put up the picture full mass here. I want to show you the damage that was done. Right, Delaware State Trooper tried to turn off the body camera before a brutal assault on the team. Prosecutors. According to prosecutors, screenshots um, are the only thing we can show because of the violence. Officials say Walters was on duty when the incident occurred, but turned off his body camera during the assault. But the device still captured the video, but no audio. All right. The Delaware Department of Justice and Delaware State Police announced felony charges against the 29 year old Dempsey Art Walters. He remains suspended without pay or benefits, though. He has not been terminated. Walters was off duty and on his way home when a 17 year old kid near the entrance of his um, Ellesmere neighborhood on August 17th, according to the indictment, believing the child was up to wrongdoing, Officer Walters confronted him, causing a verbal altercation. Court documents say Walters called uh, the police who picked up the teen and took him to his home in the nearby development of Lancaster Village. The teen was not charged, but the indictment says the following day, Walters looked up the teen on the state's law enforcement information database that contains the address, pedigree and background information. A few days later, August 21st, a 15 year old kid and his friends were pranking homes in Ellesmere by knocking on doors, then running away, also known as Ding Dong Ditch, something we played as kids as well. Walters drove toward his home, calling Delaware State Police Troopers and other police agencies for assistance. The indictment said, police said this was reported as an attempted home invasion, sending out the state police helicopter and various K-9 units because of this lying ass cop. Now, this is what happens when a department hires a Karen as a police officer, okay? They're doing ding dong ditch, right? It's clear they knock on doors, they run. Irritating, okay? Could be funny. But you call it in attempted home invasion. I'm sending in everybody. So you got multiple agencies responding. You have a damn helicopter in the sky because of you embellishing. Now, I know you embellish on all all of your police reports, I'm sure. Uh, for some reason, that's perfectly acceptable in your culture of policing. Uh, but you made a cardinal mistake when you decided to lie to the police. All right, there's more. Let's put it up. Walters and a Newport police officer went to the home of the 17 year old boy and at gunpoint removed them from the house. The 17 year old and his friend had not been involved in the ding dong ditch prank. Uh, the teens were forced to the ground. Where one can be heard on body camera video saying, please help me. And when I tell you how the kid was saying it, uh, you could literally hear uh, the lungs of this kid. Uh, He was calling for his mother. Uh, He was terrified. All right. The video shows Walters walking up to the child who was handcuffed and sitting in a police car and striking him in the face. Clear illegal activity, clear child abuse. Please tell me what I did, please. Tell me what I did, the boy asked. Attorney General Kathy Jennings said Tuesday, that man chose to extract his, uh, extract his own form of personal justice by embarking on a violent rampage. Um, and I will say this, AG, Kathy Jennings, likely not the first time. Okay, let's open up an investigation into his history. With the 15 year old's hands, Cuffed behind him, another trooper took the child to a state police SUV and was placing him in the rear passenger seat. That's when the indictment says Walters turned off his body cam, walked to the police vehicle and struck the child twice in the face, causing an orbital fracture. They're beating up handcuffed children. These cowards are so damn scared that they got to hit handcuffed babies inside a police car. To feel like men, feckless cowards. 
Dempsey R. Walters, 29, has been charged with second degree assault, a felony, deprivation of civil rights, a felony, two counts of third degree assault, misdemeanors, and two counts of official misconduct, as well as other misdemeanors. There have been no photos published of the trooper. We're still trying to get that information so that we can bring it to you ASAP. Everyone deserves to know who this criminal is and if this person has a been a criminal to somebody else. Who else has he victimized? But he couldn't do this by himself. You want to arrest one cop? What about the others who are involved? What, what is it called, Madam Prosecutor? Aiding and abetting. That's what it's called. If the rules apply to civilians, they should damn sure apply to cops.